All right, YouTube subscribers, my name is Ray Sean, known as Ray Niz on Facebook, also known as Mr. Ceiling Fan Man 1999 on YouTube. Now, what's going on is that I'm showing you guys my 52 inch black and polished brass. Last go, oh, I can't even get the model name out right. Last call, preferred design and light ceiling fan, manufactured back in the mid 1990s. Now, I want to say that the ceiling fan was manufactured back in 1995, but I don't know the exact year because it doesn't have a specific date on the ceiling fan. Now, this ceiling fan right here, dang, I forgot what I was about to, Oh, now I remember what I was about to say about this fan. Excuse me, my mind just keep going blank. This ceiling fan right here, was the ceiling fan that I recorded at one of at one of the neighbors' house back in um August of 2014 when the black side of the blaze was facing down at the time. And um and I recorded a video of the ceiling fan and posted it on YouTube back then. And this was back when my YouTube username used to be I Love You Pooh Bear 97 back then before I changed it to Mr. Ceiling Fan Man 1999. Now, this ceiling fan right here, it's a knockoff of an Emerson turn of the century ceiling fan. That's what this ceiling fan is a knockoff of. And um, the features about this fan is that it has five high gloss blades, reversible from black to oak wood, but the oak wood side of the blades are facing down. But I would have liked it better if the black side of the blaze was facing down. But the problem is that the black side of the blaze are messed up. It's not really that noticeable on camera, but I'm about to go in and uh, put it on the next blade right here. Let me see what if I turn this light on, see if you can see it better. It probably don't look all that messed up on camera. Yeah, as you can see, that this blade is in a rough shape. The black side of the blades. So that's why I don't have the black side of the blades facing down. Now I'll go on to the fifth blade. Yeah, so um, the parts that's not original to the ceiling fan is the mounting hardware as somebody that took the ceiling fan down threw away the original mounting hardware for the ceiling fan so um so the mounting hardware i'm using on the ceiling fan is my custom made mounting hardware now um the mounting hardware that of uh, the ceiling fan this the mounting hardware that goes to an smc ceiling fan but I parted that ceiling fan out and kept his original mounting hardware. And then due to the fact that the that the canopy doesn't have the ball socket support, so I had to modify the mounting hardware to um to where I had to um put the regular style mounting bracket over the mounting bracket and stuff and um drill a couple holes and stuff so I can so so I can convert the mounting bracket into a dual mount mounting bracket. So um, other than that, and I did spray paint this canopy black, but due to the fact that the canopy is not gloss black, so it doesn't blend in with the rest of the fan. So um, other than that, I'm about to go on and um, turn this light off and stuff. So I'm about to go on and demonstrate this fan, starting off with the light. And this ceiling fan is three speeds and it's electrically reversible. And um, I'm about to go in and put it on low. Now, the reason why they took this ceiling fan down is because this ceiling fan wobbles really bad. And plus, this, plus they tried to do everything to stop the ceiling fan from wobbling, but they couldn't even get the fan to stop wobbling. 
So the ceiling fan has some wobbling issues. So that's why they decided to take the ceiling fan down and replace it with another ceiling fan called the Harbor Bridge Paul Tucket ceiling fan. Now, if you ever heard of another Harbor Bridge ceiling fan called the Lake Canton, the Harbor Bridge Lake Canton ceiling fan is basically a poor chain version of the Harbor Bridge Paul Tucket. And a Harbor Bridge Paul Tucket ceiling fan is the remote control version of the Harbor Bridge Lake Canton ceiling fan. But all that has nothing to do with this ceiling fan. But when I got this ceiling fan, this ceiling fan was greasy as ever. So I had to take the ceiling fan apart just so I could clean the ceiling fan deeply. And I did see the sticker on the capacitor, and the sticker had the 95 number on there. And it had some random numbers after 95, or it had some random numbers before 95. So this makes me want to say that the fan was manufactured in 99. I mean, 95, but I could be wrong. And, um... And I did change the lead wires out on the ceiling fan after original lead wires for the ceiling fan was some certain type of color coding. Has different types of colors. Like, it had a white wire and it had a couple gray wires. And then it was some type of grayish green wire. And I was so confused about which wire was for the fan and which wires was for the light and which wire was the ground wire. So I had to take it apart and stuff to see which one of those wires. So what I had to do was that I had to um run some new lead wires on the ceiling fan. So that way I'd be able to wire the ceiling fan with no hesitation and no problem. So um this fan it puts out it's putting out a breeze on low speed. But I'm about to go on and put it on medium. And I did get the ceiling fan, and I did get the ceiling fan from a neighbor's house of mine back in uh, May of 2020. And then what I really don't like about this fan is that medium speed is really too fast. That's what I really don't like about this fan is that medium is really too fast. But at the same time, it's just the ceiling fan anyway. Because um, it's because the purpose of using the ceiling fan is not to um worry about how fast the speeds are. The purpose of using the ceiling fan is to um enjoy the cool breeze that the fan is putting out in the summertime. But um, other than that, there's really not a whole lot what I have to say about this fan, other than the fact that the ceiling fan has a skeletal motor. And this ceiling fan is not like any other ceiling fans where the reverse switch would be on the side of the switch housing. So um, if you want to reverse the ceiling fan, you would have to find a reverse switch on top of the motor housing and put the reverse switch in the opposite direction to make the ceiling fan go the opposite direction. But right now I got the ceiling fan going counterclockwise due to the fact that I'm showing it on downdraft. But this fan is wobbly, and it does look scary in person, but it really doesn't look scary on camera. But I'm about to go on and put it on high speed and see so you can see how really wobbly this fan is. And it does make a unique startup sound like it kind of makes the same startup noise as an amp. Oh. That's a Hampton Bay Huntington 3 ceiling fan manufactured by Shenlong Industries makes. But the blaze on this fan, it vibrates. And then it's making some clicking noises. And the light bulbs are kind of vibrating and stuff. So it does make some noises on high speed. But it's putting out an okay amount of air, but it's not really not blowing a whole lot. But the brown side of the blades, y'all flip the blades over to the, wait, the oak wood side, excuse me. The oak wood side of the blades, I 
I reversed the blades to the oak wood side of the blades back in 2015 when it was installed in the kitchen at my neighbor's house. And the blades been on the oak wood side showing down ever since then. So um, nothing's really changed about this fan except for the lead wires and the mounting hardware. But I did use the canopy to see will it fit the um to see will it fit the coupler so I could close mount the fan. And I was surprised that I can actually close mount this ceiling fan using the canopy that's on this ceiling fan. So um other than that, I'm about to go on and uh turn it off right quick. Cause I'm about to show you the speed up sound that the fan makes. Hold on. All right, I'm about to go on and put it back on fan off. Yeah, but other than that, I'm about to go on and get off this video. So, um, this is Mr. Ceiling Fan Man 1999 signing out this video, and I'm out.